Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create features in Azure Boards. I have logged into my Azure DevOps account. You could see I have an organization and the project. Select the project. So currently we could see we have two epics. So now what I am going to do is we are going to create a new feature work item. Click new work item. Click feature. Actually the feature is a child of an epic okay so the epic is a larger work item so now that has been broken down into another smaller work item which is a feature okay so what i'm going to do is i am going to create a feature which is going to be part of the epic employee management system okay so i'm going to enter the title as user interface okay so then we will be able to select the user right i'm going to select the same user and then if you want you can add a tag so i'm going to add the tag as ui okay and the state and the reason is going to be new because we are creating the new feature right and the area so we will be able to select the area i'm going to select as ui okay and the iteration again you'll be able to select another iteration okay so then we can give a description right okay, i'm going to say user interface for employee right and then we can uh, select the priority right default is two if you want you can select the priority as one and the risk you can just select the risk high medium low i'm going to select as medium okay so then you can specify the effort business value time criticality so you'll be able to select the start date right so you can say this is going to get started today and then it is going to run over a month right so probably you can select this eighth right then we'll be able to specify the classification whether it's business or architectural right and then so you'll be able to see the history here and then you'll be able to see the links here and you'll be able to add link from here and you'll be able to see add the attachments here okay so here you could see under the related work add a link right you'll be able to add any other link like child link kind of thing so and also there is another option add an existing work item as a parent so i'm going to add the existing work item as a parent okay so the link type is parent and the work item i'm going to give it as an employee management system okay so if you want you'll be able to add a comment okay then click add link i'm going to save okay now we have successfully created a feature user interface okay let's get back to the work items okay so now we could see right we have a employee management system and then we have the user interface feature okay so go to backlogs so here we have only features and stories so go to the settings select the epics as well click save okay epics right so now we are able to see the epic employee management system and under that we have the feature user interface in this demo we have seen how to create a feature work item in azure boards and then assign that feature as a child of an epic if you like this demo please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo